Not to use such strong language or whatever. Responsible for him financially, it would fall back on me because of my affidavit of support. Oh, you. hell no. That ain't right. I'm still going to have to go to the appointment for him to have a green card and prove that there could have been an agenda. Oh, hell no. <laughs> the way he said it, he's so cake-going to do. That he had an agenda. I love to it. To get over here. Oh, hell. What no. I think is that he thought that, ain't right. <laughs> that I had a lot of money. He's such a nice guy. I love him. I noticed he was on his cell phone a lot. When I went to go and turn the phone off, and I went online, I had to go under like the data use because I'm like, why is my data plan so high? His data usage was like 10 times that of mine. When I clicked on it, numerous, 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 numerous photos, all kinds of stuff, just all in the phone. And for somebody who told me he didn't know anybody who lives here really, except his family. Got, got around on the uh, internet. But if you're he, he on that he on that grinder, I mean Tinder. What? I'll tell you what. I'm in thirty and forty minute conversations with other females. Don't tell me he's been talking to other guys. But you don't talk to your wife when she comes home and you're all on your phone. Yes, that is problematic. I believe Bro, turns out it's literally just they look at the photos and it's just Louise and Jess sending each other uh memes. They're best buds. Luis is communicating with women on social media, and what I want to say is, no, bitch, like block his ass. You don't want these leftovers. Trust me, you don't. If he used you, then he needs to go back. Cause that wasn't right for you, or the rest of us in the family. It's, it aggravates no. me. Do you think you should go back home? I think you should. If he gets his green card, I will be responsible for Luis for 10 years. So I have to prove that Luis entered into the marriage falsely because he can go home. He needs to be back in the Dominican, so I don't have to pay for his ass anymore. So Chad, Luis versus not the good Twitch word, Bass Pro Shop Therapist, dude. What? Oh, you mean the incel? No, Louis is not a fucking Chad. He's the virgin. Jesse, Jess is the fucking uh, Chad here. Anyway, here, listen. We'll do LSF now. Okay? I know it's an abrupt change, boys, but, you know, I want to I wanna, I wanna savor this. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to blow through this one like we did so many times. Okay? Time and time again, we've blown through this, okay? And then it's not just LSF. We're going to move on to gaming afterwards, too. I'm sorry the transition wasn't... Change the title, bro. Okay, so Twitch is suspending advertising on Amaranth channel, boys. That's uh, expected. I want to I wanna know if, like, everyone's point of view has changed now. Where they go from, uh, they go from fucking uh, being against Amaranth and now being pro Amaranth. You can admit you were wrong about the advertising argument towards hot tub streamers now, Asan. What, my argument that if Twitch considers it to be an advertising risk, they'll literally fucking, they'll do something about it? And they did, which was my argument that like, if Twitch personally considers Amaranth's channel to be a fucking, <laughs> so I was right. I'm confused. I, I literally said that they will very likely take action against Amaranth if they start considering Amaranth to be an actual, uh, advertisement risk. Or all the hot tub streamers in general. Now, having said that, though. Um, the problem that I have with this 
would be for uh, political channels. I don't personally give a shit if Twitch stops advertising on my uh, on my uh, uh, on my page. Good for me, like literally great. But uh, I'm pretty. I'm certain that there isn't. Uh, there are other Twitch streamers that would not like that, that are growing. And uh, are you? Why do you guys still cap? Like, I literally never fucking never ran ads before I had to contractually, and even then I I tried to get the minimal amount of ads. There's still motherfuckers in here who don't believe me. I don't care. How would you buy the one if you don't get ads? What? Oh, yeah. Wait, they run ads, but she doesn't get paid? Wait, what the fuck? There is no shot. There is no... That's really fucked up. Wait. So Twitch still runs ads? Okay, if they no, there there's no way. Either they like have suspended running ads on her channel and no longer do ads run on her channel. Or you have less ads now than most other people. Yes, because again, I don't run uh most people more most contracts, most renewed contracts on partner streamers, uh they usually go for the three minute ad at the at uh, every hour. Wait. Not quite sure that's how it is. She was telling Asm Gold about it earlier today. She sent Asm a screenshot of the con conversation. She was running ads for zero dollars for like a week now. Wait, what? So she's just running ads and not getting the revenue? Oh, it doesn't run anything when she tries to run ads. Okay, that okay, well then This is actually a really good thing since most people hate getting ads. Yeah, I feel like this is only going to this is only going to improve her uh like the consumer experience. Which pockets Amaranth's ad money? Easy clap. Specifically, uh, after May 7th, and there's a change with regards to ad rates and load, or is it delaying or updating? Is the right way you can check for me. Hi, Caitlin. Uh, this definitely doesn't look right, especially because it shows something, shows that you ran ads between May 8th and 15th. I just didn't make, you just didn't make any revenue off of it for, wait, wait, what? So she ran the ads and she's not getting paid. So wait a minute, Twitch. That's really fucked up. If she's actually running ads and the channel is showing ads and she's not getting paid for it, that is the scummiest thing ever. And fuck Twitch for doing that. There is no shot that that's the case, though. Like, that is insanely scummy, dude. But if she's not running, if she's running ads and uh, Twitch has suspended running ads on her channel because they no longer want to serve ads on her channel because they deem her to be an advertisement risk, then I don't really have a... Uh, I, I don't, I mean, I personally don't care about that, even though it does set a, uh, it does set a, a, a scary precedent for those who rely on ad revenue. Um, not myself personally, as I've mentioned time and time again, I don't have a problem with that, but certainly not good for smaller channels who probably run ads and, and, uh, like the extra revenue that they get from it. Okay, yesterday I was informed that Twitch has indefinitely suspended advertising on my channel. Twitch didn't reach out in any way whatsoever. I had to initiate the conversation after noticing without any prior warning that all the ads revenue had disappeared from my channel analytics. This is alarming precedent and serves as a stark warning that although content may not be ostensibly break community guidelines or terms of service, Twitch has complete discretion to target individual channels or partially or who wholly demonetize them for content that is deemed not advertiser friendly. Something that there is no communicated guide something that there is no communicated guideline for. This leaves open-ended the question of where the line is drawn. Many people complain about TOS being unclear, but at least there's something to go by. There is no known policy for what results in a streamer being put on this blacklist. With characteristic opacity, the only thing Twitch made clear 
is that it is unclear whether or not, whether or when my account can be reinstated. So, what I find interesting about this uh, is the same thing I've said before, which is that, like, they still fucking run ads for, like, Magnum condoms and shit. And beer, and numerous other things. So, there is, like, still sexual advertising on the platform, but sexualized content that is within the boundaries of the terms of service, but still edged all the way to the fucking end of it. Like, literally all the way to the, the, where the line is. Like, right on the fucking line. Because that's what this kind of content is. Because, let's be real, it is still a loophole um, that uh, Twitch had to put in place so that, you know, uh, you didn't get clapped for doing a fucking IRL stream or whatever and you're at a pool. Right? Um, that's, that's interesting that they have, uh, have, have demonetized, uh, Amaranth's, like, capacity for, uh, for running ads. Condom ads are not sexual if you fill them with helium and use them for birthday parties. Shut up, Asai, you're wrong, it's friendly, friendly content? No, it's not. And it never was, but it shouldn't matter. What I find particularly interesting now is that uh, I assume people are now on the side of Amaranth, like, because they hate Twitch. Is that what it is? The title of the post is misleading. She isn't getting ads suspended. She's getting ad revenue suspended, meaning she won't... She isn't going to receive any money from the ads that get placed on her channel. There is no way Twitch could stop playing the ads on one of the channels with the highest traffic right now. Edit, I was wrong. No ads wide, hardo. No, I was completely clear and accurate. Go to my channel. No pre-rolls. No, thank you. Your implication is a Twitch-based channel recommendation on the channels that make them the most money instead of the channels that most likely be relevant to viewers. Sounds like a shitty pro-profit but anti-user thing to do. I've never watched any boob streamers or just chatting streams on Twitch, so I sincerely don't get why Twitch would push it to me. Yeah, dog. I'm sure you don't. I I'm sure you don't, dude. Yeah, certainly. Certainly. Yeah, me too. I never watch it, dude. Oh, wait. Just kidding, dude. Look at that. I guess I do watch it. Okay? There it is. It's just a little fucking sprinkling, brother. Let's be real. If you've fucking seen, if you have even clicked on uh booba streams or anything like that whether it is just for uh whether it's just to like when you're you know doing this sort of thing like lsf reacts or whatever it's gonna fucking show up okay you clicked on it let's be real caught in 4k listen central committee i talk about the weird shit i jerk off to on a daily basis why would I not admit if I routinely watch like uh, uh, streamers that do stuff like this? Like there, I have no shame. I have no fucking shame whatsoever. There are streamers that I um, used to raid even. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, wh what's her name? Daniela Azule. Restream RP at least, what? Hassan fan TikTok. Man only have four moves. Okay, dude, no. We're not doing that right now. Anyway, let's get back to the matter at hand. I wonder if like Twitch is now uh or, or LSF is now pro Amaranth.
feel like most of the people who complain about booper streamers are just Texas as fuck. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of women that complain about booper streamers too. There's a lot of female Twitch streamers that cl complain about uh, booper streamers. In relation to your early uh, earlier point about being online, I can confirm this is true. I worked in social media content moderation and policies are purposely vague for this very reason on the basis of users, which includes content creators not knowing what breaks policy will cause them to toe the line at a slow enough pace so a motion can be set up to address upcoming trends, i.e. hot tub streams. Yeah. I never watch booby streamer. People who complain about it in their feed probably watch their clips to see about boobies, not realizing the algorithm is going to notice that. Oh, that, that too. What did Amaranth say? Who are your favorites, lol? What up, Amaranth? Um, I don't really, I don't, I don't really watch uh, hot tub streamers. I have watched your stream to understand why, uh, like what people are are watching. It's just not for me, you know. People keep people love capping, but or at least that kind of guys. You have to remember, I literally don't watch Twitch in general because. How the fuck or when the fuck would I watch streams when I'm streaming 10 hours a day? The only time I actually watched, like, religiously watched Twitch streamers was when I was doing roleplay. So I would just watch other roleplay streamers when I was done. But beyond that, you'll never see me on Twitch on other people's streams because I'm literally just, like, I'm just watching, uh like Netflix or some shit when I'm done with Twitch because I'm just like, oh, I don't want to fucking see more Twitch. Not wanting every platform cluttered with sexual content is not unreasonable. There are already platforms for that. That's not true. Like, there is sexual content in every fucking platform and sexualized content in every fucking platform. I have said time and time again that I have absolutely zero... Zero fucking uh, uh, anger towards uh, hot tub streamers. I think that it's uh, ridiculous that people fucking complain about us so much. I think that, that those complaints unironically create like more hot tub streamer watchers. And that, I don't know, I just like, I, I think that this isn't happening necessarily because it's like not marketer friendly. But more so because uh, people on LSF fucking and like Twitch watchers uh, reacted in this way for an extended period of time. So now Twitch is like, look, we're doing something and we're retaliating. So, yeah. Complaining about booba streamers on Twitch is just as effective as complaining about jalapenos at a sub shop. It's just one of the many toppings you can enjoy. If you don't like it, don't do it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Justin TV was literally for following around a dude named Justin. Yeah. We've had, we've had so many, um, so many conversations on this issue that I've talked about. The only, like, the only thing I don't like about all this is that, um, Twitch just, uh, uh pulling advertisements, uh, off of pages that they've declared like bad. And that sets up a scary precedent. What if they move forward and just like revoke everything? But if you are well within the boundaries of uh, terms of service, it's a little worrisome. It is definitely a little worrisome. Um, were hot tub streamers like purposely staying within the boundaries of terms of service while literally fucking uh, pushing it as far as they physically could? Yeah, that's why you put a hot tub inside of your fucking apartment. Like that's crazy.
but I don't think it was hurting anybody. And um, I personally would not have taken advertisements away from Booba slash hot tub streamers in general. My account manager didn't even know. She was still telling me about beta ads products before the hammer drop, literally mid convo, different levels of in the know. This came from up higher. I have a pool and outside tub. The inside tub was just for climate and lighting control consistency. No, you can do more when you're inside as well. You can make like more content when you're, when you're doing uh, content inside of your house. But again, the most worrisome part about this is that they pull the ads. They're gonna, this might be helpful for smaller content creators. Like, listen, um, I can't speak for Amaranth. She's here. She can speak for herself, but I'm sure like she's still going to ultimately be fine with the amount of subs that she has. I'm sure more people in her community will be pushed uh, or not pushed, but like will will now go and want to even subscribe more to help her out, you know, her fans in that regard. But it sucks for a lot of uh, smaller content creators that definitely uh, uh, rely on the advertisement revenue. It's also kind of weird that they just did it like, I mean, it's definitely weird and scary that they just decided this is not advertisement for advertiser friendly without talking to someone like Amaranth, who has been a long time like Twitch streamer. And one of the streamers that Twi uh, streams for the longest amounts of fucking time on the platform to just be like, all right, we're fucking pulling this away without being like, hey, your content is sexualized uh, beyond the boundary of what we're comfortable with. And it's starting to hurt our advertisement revenue or whatever. That's not great. I am personally fine. It sucks for smaller creators and it sucks. They don't communicate at all. Part to me is excited to be in the first stream without pre-rolls making people bounce. Yeah. I mean, I, I get that. Forget human rights violations, free amaranth. Bitch, I talk about human rights violations every day for hours, okay? Um. <laughs> Amaranth. You know, Twitch did, Twitch did something great for Amaranth by allowing Turkish streamers or Turkish stream watchers to be able to subscribe uh, at, a, at a reasonable rate. And then they took her ad revenue away. So Twitch giveth and Twitch taketh at the same time. It's not like the Turks are able to watch ads anyway. You know what I'm saying? You're not serving anything to them. They're, it's like a Thanos snap. This is dangerous precedent. If they can make up rules on the spot, people will stop taking risks with content. I mean, people already, people already do that. And that's not... Anyway. Not scaring the fuck out of me. Platforms shouldn't unilaterally making these free speech calls and people should have protection in these circumstances because it's literally people's livelihoods. I, I agree, but that is the way of the internet. I know partners can't speak specifics, but I am yet to I have yet to meet a decently large streamer that gets a non-generic partner contract that doesn't include clauses about changes like this requiring notice and a grace time period, but it's not likely that it would ever be to the benefit of the partner to go legal in a case like this. Yeah. Any thoughts about what happened in Palestine? This guy's trolling, right? Any thoughts about what's happening in the world right now? Like wars and whatnot? Yeah, there, that, that dude is trolling. There's no shot. Following since 13 minutes ago. Yeah.
Anyway, those are my thoughts on it. Nim wanted, wants to stop talking about forcing and came up with this idea to achieve his goal. I'm gonna... Um, I'm seriously considering also doing something like playing a video game. I'm wow, that's pretty cool. Hopefully it works well for him. Stands on how he met Miskiff on the day of Ludwig's roast. More. This is like so awkward. I'm a little nervous about the roast. I don't really know anyone because Atriox's not going to be here. Slime is inside setting up the sound. And then the car crests. And it's a lime green Tesla. And I think this is the butt ugliest car I've ever seen in my life. Who the fuck would drive this? And then out of the back seat comes Miskiff in a shirt that reads Cuck Boy. And not only is it Miskiff jumping out of a car in a shirt that reads Cuck Boy, he is doubled over in the street about to vomit, dry heaving. And I go, hey, hey, Miz, are you all right? He stands up, bolts up. It's almost like that scene in Willy Wonka where he flips over and then pops up okay. Mizkiff literally does a little move, stands straight up, and goes, do you want any nausea pills? I, it was so weird. And I go, hey, man, I'm good. And he just goes, I get really car sick. And he pops three nausea pills right in front of me. More. This is Why the fuck did he have a lime green Tesla? Is that what he rented? Asmongold's thoughts on New World. New world, same shit. Oh my god, that is way too long. Okay, what's the TLDR, boys? <laughs> Asmund Gold has officially become... The paid fast travel is pay to win to a level most people who haven't e played the game won't realize. Each area has its own auction. And there wasn't even going to be fast travel. The idea was each region's market is different, so you can make money traveling with resources on foot to regions that need it. They introduced restrictive fast travel that costs more by weight, while also introducing paid fast travel. The paid fast travel is a pay-to-win moneymaker disguised as something else. TLDR, New World, same shit. I mean, he like... He titled it, too. Tony is wicked. Oh, I know. I, I know what this video is. I saw it on his Twitter. It's crazy. Look at this motherfucker hitting like R while he's doing moves as he's evading the police. <laughs> it's coming. Just wait. This part's real crazy. That's nasty, dude. That is nasty. <laughs> Even the other cops like, oh, he's so good. It's he's so wicked, dude. Asmund Gold on Twitch's lack of communication. Why is it that they didn't just come over and say stop doing this or we're going to demonetize you? I said the exact same thing. It, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Why is why is that not a strategy? Yeah, no, really. Content? Well, what do you mean? What is the time waste? Content creator? Well, yeah, she streamed on there. What? MRS streams, streams like 50 hours a day. Look, I understand people are getting a hard on because they're happy that, uh, you know, this thing happened because they don't like hot tub streamers. I get that. But you understand what she's saying. Like, she's not wrong. She's not wrong in saying this. Like, this, this is true. Them not talking to her at all about it. And again, we're taking her at her word. All right. I will. Re Damn, bro. There's no. Damn it. This would have been perfect with like some fucking beast ass like World of Warcraft raid music in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish. I wish the music was still like blasting in the background. Like, dun, 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 dun. Reemphasize that. She could be lying. However, we will assume that she's not <laughs> Why would she this be is the lying? same way that Twitch handles other problems. Why is it that... Anyway. Yeah, I, I think it's ridiculous that they wouldn't just be like, dude, just stop doing, like, the hot tub booba streams. Nayshaw gives up Twitch partnership so he can co-stream CDL I mean, matches. I, I might be bouncing around from, like, Twitch and YouTube occasionally. 
I'm not going to be a partner anymore. I'm just going to be an affiliate. So you can still sub if you'd like to. But uh, I think it works out really well because I'll be able to hopefully co-stream Call of Duty matches that LA Thieves has since I won't be exclusive to Twitch. I'm not, I'm not really changing much. I'm not leaving Twitch. Just being an affiliate gives me a little bit of uh, freedom on where I can stream and where I can't. How the fuck do you get an Excedrin ad, dude? That's so crazy. Excedrin is his sponsor? Is that a joke? And I think that's really good for Call of Duty. Uh, so, that, so that makes sense for me. I'm excited about that. I mean, 100 Thieves Excedrin at the CIA Black site? Nah, Nate Shot is a nice guy. I, I like him. Um, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's crazy. Who the fuck on Twitch is buying Excedrin, dude? Aw, oh, shit. Time to crack an Excedrin after watching my favorite COD streamer, Nate Shot. Tostinos is molding. Um, Destiny on Amaranth losing ad revenue. It is really weird though that you can like lose your ad revenue with no contact. Fuck, we need to get that Phantom Lord lawyer. I I'm like ninety five percent sure it was a violation of my contract because I read through it a few times. I did when we were fighting over things. And they, I'm supposed to have time to remedy breaches. It's like a 30-day remedy period. Or they have to inform you if they're cutting off the contract. Like, it has to be, like, a written statement for why. They can't just say that you broke it. It's strange they didn't say anything. But also, um, also for, um, for Alinity stuff, too. Like, I don't think, like, part of the obligation on Twitch's end of those contracts is that they, like, provide, like, um, ouch. Is that they provide, uh, you know, like, ad revenue and services and all that shit. Does the contract say they have to? Yeah, I think that's part of the obligation on their side. I don't know if that's uh, true or not, but it would make sense. But would also make sense in at least uh, my contract is that it is top of the hour, which means there's a 60 second ad break. <laughs> oh, all these talking about all these ads. I, I'm not flexing. Okay. I don't like it, but. It's a 60 second ad break time. If you'd like to no longer see those ads, you know, you got VPNs, okay? Ad block, you can subscribe for $5. You can subscribe with a Twitch Prime for free. But here's the fucking ad now. Twitch is taking down multiple streamers for streaming Eurovision currently. Pff, dude, really? Thanks for the sacrificial lambs on Twitch for testing the water and subsequently getting banned for rebroadcasting Eurovision. Definitely will not attempt that myself. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Bro, it's Eurovision, dude. That's crazy. Moxie can't leave spawn. They're top, they're top. No, we got the It's pushed up. What is that lag? Can't, can't keep get, getting picked off like that. Box. What is that lag? That was not hitting me. One shot, one kill. I will fire. Let's go, Kurt. Check, yeah, check Kurt. Kurt, control here. Oh, the Mox Widow. I haven't seen that in a hot minute. That's a treat. We're getting treated right now. I actually. Wait, they're back behind now. Will it help me? Bap is in there. <laughs> is in there. Bank. <laughs> How are you dying to have Bob no boxer? Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, it, you can't make this up, man. You just can't. Did you kill the Bap? No, he's like, no. Bob, there's a Lucio on there. me! <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. What do you fucking expect? <laughs> it's Spot Captain. He's playing Riddle, bro. Come on. Man. He's one. Oh my. I mean, I would quit. Lyrics Bloodborne character in 2015 versus 2021. This was from 2015, chat.
2015, right here. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh yeah, I remember him, man. I remember him. God damn, dude. He was a good guy. He was a nice dude. We went through some shit together. What's his character now? He was nice. Oh beard my. color? You want to change the beard color? I. Oh my god. Why Why is Lyric making Republicans, famous Republican politicians in Bloodborne? Knut's take on the hat to be met. It, it's the same for everyone. If it shows by the content that you're putting yourself in an env environment where it's allowed to wear barely no clothing just for the sake of having no clothing on, it's pretty easy to spot, okay? That's, that's what I'm saying. Because there's nothing wrong with being at the beach by jumping in a pool. There's nothing wrong with those things. But if you're in the pool to be naked, that's when the problem comes. And often we can see that on the content. I mean, my man is the most double cheeked up streamer on this platform, going to the fucking gym, looking the way he do. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Canute has no business being, uh, being a fucking cake factory. You know what I'm saying? This guy. Hello, I'm Knut. I'm from Norway. <laughs> it's okay to be naked in the pool. It's not okay to be the pool to be in the pool to be naked. What? Oh. It's okay to be naked in the pool. It's not okay to be in the pool to be naked. Why are you riding a banana? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm a stickman, Darcy. <laughs> I can't. I gotta stop. Uh, Israel is gonna finals Eurovision with a song called Set Me Free. How are people falling for that shit? Yeah. Just set Palestine free, dude. The only which would change is that streamers who can afford a hot tub with their patio or already have a swimming pool would do such streams. So the thing is like, I, okay. If they do that, then they do that. Like Amaranth has a fucking pool, right? Like she could have just gone back to like streaming in her pool, but like nothing really changes. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just, I feel weird that like people got so fucking bent about the hot tub meta. You know what I mean? I think it's more about how often they're doing it. Yeah, Twitch is just worried about Legionnaire's disease, you know? Fucking having all the hot tubers sit in all of that water every day. All the bacteria forming in the background. <laughs> You're going to get lesion. There's disease. Didn't Amaranth do that way before the hot tub streams drama started or SDP? I don't think many complained about them using outdoor pools and only started getting weird with these living room inflatable pools. If you're going to the pool to be naked, that's what the problem is. We all know what you're doing. Also, Canute. Oh, I mean, dude, this shit is crazy. I mean, I'm not going to show it again. I mean, I do see the difference between Knut, Knut, between Knut going to the gym and doing a workout stream versus like, um, versus like someone who's literally in the hot tub in an inflatable pool in their living room every day and like writing all over their bodies and stuff for money. Like, I get it. There's a difference. Ultimately, it doesn't matter even though it is like light sex work. You know what I mean? I personally don't have a problem with it. I don't know why Twitch would have a problem with it. 
but apparently I guess they assume that it is uh, hurting their advertisement revenue. Depending over for the camera is the same thing and he is just a, is a hypocrite. I'm willing to bet that if Canute went to the gym every single day and didn't work out at all and was just there for the entire duration of his stream and started fucking writing people's names on his like pecs and was like flexing them or writing things on like his ass and flexing his ass, which would probably, and then other, uh, other sexy ass male streamers started doing the same shit. People probably wouldn't get as mad, no matter what. No one would get mad, actually, because you know, it's a dude, and uh, sexism is not a factor there. But if people were to get mad in a similar capacity, then Twitch would likely take action as well. The problem is, or the difference is, people would not be upset about that. They would never, in a million years, bring that shit up. I'm pretty sure. No one would turn around and be like, this is disgusting. This is a, a sexual uh, thing. This is okay, dude. You know what I mean. If you were like literally purposely working out, but your workout content was like straight up sexualized, and then you were like writing shit on your body and writing it on your butt and like flexing your butt, that's just like, I'm trying to draw as best a parallel as I possibly can. You know what I mean? with like deliberate hot tub content, which once again, I have no problem with. They would go, wow, that's gay. I'm not watching that. No, they wouldn't. They would be like, <laughs> they'd be like, wow, that's gay. I'm definitely sure not watching that. Right, boys? Let's not do a watch party with the boys. Farming thumbnails? I am farming thumbnails. Yeah. I don't know. Am I- I can't be the only one reading this in Knut's voice? No, 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 no. I am too. <laughs> Please write- start writing sub names on your arm? Fuck no. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> motherfuckers like <laughs> motherfuckers be like write sub names on your arm bitch be excited be ecstatic if I read your name when you subscribe okay <laughs> <laughs> write sub names on your body he says bro you don't if you're subscribing to me so I like you know read your name out like then don't do it okay I've said it so many times, like. Missed my two-year sub? Okay, Fizz. I started reading my comment and got excited. You didn't even read it out loud? Well, guess what? I read it out loud now. Anyway. Welcome me to the jungle, weird champ. S Fan TV, just another Cornwood moment. Okay, what is this? Morrison City, I'm a little bit uh I don't know. I, I think some folks don't really they, they haven't really gotten to take the time to know me too too well yet. Why? Help! City, I'm a little bit Since you're on RP, okay, dude, you got it. Get the RP clips out, boys. Missing. Oh no, this Missing is thing and probably never coming back. Oh my god. Um, Probably gonna die. Um, don't know what's going on with me after Eon. 
Ja. Oh, the nerds are still here. He doesn't sound sad. I mean, he is probably sad, but it's because he just woke up, motherfucker. That's his morning voice. Owes me money. <laughs> what? Hey. What's up, baby? Zuna, do you want to do Axie, actually? Mandy on someone else must be Brian. Yeah, I think he's doing cop now. Dude, he, they're still doing oxy, dude. Just look at it real quick so I can sleep. Okay, dude, here. Who has two? <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. Good job. What's the RP story for Donnie being gone this time? Dude, I don't even know. I don't even know what I... I'm just going to say that I've been trapped in Romania. I wanted to go to... I wanted to, I wanted to go visit my ancestral homelands and got stuck in Romania and then uh, finally escaped Romania only to be stuck underwater. Okay, instead of Romania, Albania. Yeah, I thought I was going to Rome, but I went to Romania instead. Just say you were stranded at sea fighting off sea life. Yeah. House arrest in Bucharest. Okay. We already watched the Wicked video. Sorry, you can't complain about people wearing masks when you're wearing a beanie in the middle. Okay, Matt. Okay, Matt. That's fucked up, dude. You're being baldest right now. Literally being baldest, dude. Okay? People, sometimes they like wearing beanies in the middle of summer. Okay? My life is worse because I lost. Literally, the one of the biggest concerns I had with someone beating my time is knowing that no one's going to give a shit who unnamed is in a week. No one. No one will remember. No one will care. That's the guy, right? Dark, Dark Viper AU, right? But me... People will bring up unnamed for me for the rest of my fucking life. I will be forever that guy who tried hard to beat Oko and did not succeed first. When I, I don't get it. Like, what, what does this guy do? Is he like a, like a speedrunner or something? I briefly saw this. I need context. I think this dude is like a speedrunner or something. And what did he do? He banned someone, right? He... Hold on. Hold on. I made you something to strengthen your tweet game when you go live. I just uploaded it. Please check it out. www.youtube.com TLDR, he thinks he's more important and no one gives this shit. He has... Um, made my life worse, measurably so. 
I was the only person who could have benefited significantly from doing this first. But not only that, failing to do this will now impact the rest of my career. Damn, bro. Seems like he should have ran faster. I didn't know there was a robust GTA speedrunning community like until this moment. Like who the fuck is like, oh dude, your Literally. fucking bona fides in speedrunning are gone now because someone else beat your record. The irony is now people are going to make a bigger deal out of this because he's being like kind of salty about it. Like, originally it was like 12 people were, originally 12 people were like, oh, Pog, dude, you did a GTA speedrun. And now at least 700 people are like, oh, dude, you're kind of lame. His record wasn't beaten. He Someone beat the record he wanted to beat. I'm confused. So why are... Okay, so it wasn't even his record. What? He was trying to be the first no damage GTA 5 run. He did it all publicly on stream, sharing all of his inside info for traditional speedrunners that do it offline. He hasn't finished a full run to this day, just perfected lots of different parts. Now someone else uses techniques to get the record first. Even then, I just feel like, okay. But like, why did he do it then? Why did he do it publicly? And give away his uh, secrets, I guess. That's actually pretty shitty. I mean, I don't know. Like, why did he make those techniques public then? So people use it, right? So when people use it, he's going to get salty. What the fuck? What I don't understand is like, is there no way to perfect it? Motherfucker, you're the one who made the speed runs. Like literally perfect it. Is it physically impossible for uh, him to perfect his own techniques? I just, I literally don't understand it. It's a fucking video game, Omega LOL? Yeah, I mean that too. In the clip there, he implied that he would benefit more from the success than the person that got it. Booba TV. Booba lover. Yo, Hassan the Hun, I saw you on French TV. I'm not clicking on that. It's shitty, but that's a lesson in protecting your IP. All you can do is sit or move on. What do you mean protecting your IP? I feel like that's fucking crazy, dude. Like, I, I don't understand. Why would you protect that IP? What IP, motherfucker? You didn't make the game. I'm, I don't understand. Nick gets the card of a lifetime. We spent so much money on this. We spent so much money on this. Come on, baby. Who's it going to be? Okay. Okay. Who is this? Ball sack. We spent so much money on this. Well, I don't know anything about this. Okay. Nick has a realization. 
And then here we got... The Confederate flag. I knew it. And then here we got... <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. That's good. <laughs> Sumo Wrestling Channel is banned on Twitch? What the fuck? Why? Is there showing Booba? Oh, they've been re-hosting the Sumo broadcast. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, dude. It's just not... Orson, reenactment of Twitch meeting 2020. Wanna one dog? Okay. There it is. That's how it happened. Misgift tried to scam Casey Tron. It was fine. I really didn't care. Um, you know what's funny? I, I, Casey Tron uh, admitted to me she cheated, right? And I'm like, it's fine. Just pay me back my subs. Not a big deal. Is she going to pay back subs? She said, yeah. She's like, I'm going to give you back my su your subs. So she PayPal'd me $500. You know and who the real winner was? Twitch. Well, you want to know the funny part about this? I never gave her her subs. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that yet. Oh, my God. I was like, who is? I didn't understand who Misgive was talking to. That's how long it's been since I've heard my man Austin's voice, dude. That's how long it's been since Austin's been on the show. That's crazy. Actually, that's a lie. Last time I heard his voice, I was fucking literally like in the throes of my second shot. And Austin was on the other side of the phone going, come on. You want to be on the Misgift Roast? Come on. I need to plan ahead. <laughs> that's the last time I heard his voice, dude. What happened with Austin? He moved on to, he moved on to different uh, territory, dude. He moved on to different React Lords, dude. He's too big for us, boys. He's just, we don't hang out with the Minecrafters, dude. That's why Misgift does. Yeah. Uh. So, I pretty much stole five hundred dollars from her, and then she found out, and she's like, "Wait a minute, what?" So, I got a a, a quick PayPal notification that says, "Uh." A, a, a case has been opened for your PayPal money, and it was for 500 bucks by Casey Tron. <laughs> oh, you could just message me and be like, hello, I, you took my money. She opened up a she case. She opened up a case. <laughs> Respect. Nice. Now, this is how you treat your kid when they, when they need you while streaming? Wholesome AF. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pooties. You guys are going to have to play this one without me. Uh oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Oh, that's yep. okay. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. I understand. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ted is here. Hello? That's so sweet. Yeah, I'll come <laughs> right down here. You trash, you fucking geek. You want some too, kid? Uh oh. Yeah, Play with Jack Manifold. He's a dude with the weird thumbs you commented on Twitter. Vouch. He seems chill. Are we applauding people for taking care of their offsprings now? Yes. Especially a Rainbow Six Siege player, dude. That's. I'm surprised he he didn't his his form of parenting is just teaching the kid how to say slurs, you know. Also, we got the same chain, so respect. Andy catches a huge pike from a river. Oh no! What the fuck are doing the river monsters game, dude? What does Torille Perkele mean? Oh my <laughs> god, dude. <clears throat> oh, 
Ой, сатана. Ой, 